Hey, my sweeties. Um, thank y'all for joining Afternoon Tea Time with Tea. Um, today I have a, I think it's a rather interesting topic, um, because people are always throwing out this term, toxic. So today, I'm going to be talking about what I call toxic cis syndrome. I say toxic cis syndrome, but really cis can be family, a male, a, a relationship. It can be any relationship that you want it to be. But I just thought toxic cis syndrome was cool because I wanted to name it as TSS. Not to get confused with toxic shock. Sa not to get it confused with toxic shock syndrome. Okay, so in three simple little words, a toxic person is somebody who is unsupportive, abusive, and emotionally unhealthy. So usually, I guess you can spot these people by what they're showing you. Like, it's, it's you don't have to pull out a magnifying glass and, and look for these toxic people. Like, they're in your lives. It could be your own mother, it could be your father, it could be your boyfriend, it could be your girlfriend, it could be your best friend, it could be it could be anybody in your life that you have you you didn't even realize that they were being toxic. Well, a few ways that you can identify if somebody is toxic is watch them. Um, toxic people sometimes some some toxic people like drama. They love drama. They live for drama. They're always involved in something. Um, they like creating it or they just like being around it. Like they can be extremely self-absorbed and always trying to one-up you. So you can be going through something and they can be like, well, this is what I'm going through. Um, and just make a near situation worse than yours. Like they always feel like their situation is better or worse than yours. Always just trying to one-up you. Um... They're very controlling or manipulative. I mean, that speaks for itself. They're very critical of you, others, or them own, their own selves. Like, a person can be so toxic to themselves, like, before they even toxic with other people. Like, I usually find that when people are cr super critical of others, it's because it's something in them that they they don't like. It has nothing to do with you. And even even when you're, like, telling them, like, you're hurting my feelings or like like lay off me a little bit and they still just letting you have it letting you have it letting you have it yeah no they constantly are throwing your wrongdoings in your face oh remember that time you did such and such boom so if you're trying to do better with yourself and you know you ain't who you used to be a few years back why you keep trying to bring it up and remind me what i did wrong Ain't none of us perfect. We all done messed up in some way. But a toxic person will never let you forget where you came from. Um, toxic people can be very jealous of you or others. Um, you can have a girlfriend and you doing so good. And she always got something smart to say about it. Like, oh girl, I just got this job. Yeah, but it's like... Celebrate me, bitch. You know, celebrate me, bitch, because I'm the shit. They're not happy for your achievements. They're not happy when you're doing good in life. It seems like the only time they they actually engage in what you're doing is when it's something bad or detrimental to you. Um, seem like the only time they want to talk to you about your stuff is when your relationship is falling apart. Oh, girl, he this and that and that. Yeah. Cut, cut. Definitely another way that somebody can show that they're toxic is if every time you're around them, they seem to drain the life out of you. Like you, conversations seem forced. Is is like it's just a hassle to be around this person. They seem like you're doing it more as a job than out of fun. And if you feel that way when you're around somebody, it's like why do you even go around here? Why do you want them to drain the life out of you? It, it, you got to start evaluating stuff like that. I think one of the number one signs of a toxic person, in my opinion, is if they are not trying to heal or give help. 
So we, I think that we, we as humans all have some type of toxic trait. Um, but the difference between a toxic person and a healthy person is that you can identify that you actually do need some help and you try to go and get it. If you know that you have something about you that you need to improve on, why not go and improve it? Why, why sit there and be like, man, I know I'm a hater. I'm jealous of all my friends, but I don't hear. It's just like, check yourself, work on yourself, like be better. If that's your friend, you should never be jealous of your friend because they always say jealousy is a form of hate. Why am I hating on my friend? It should not go that way. So if you know that you feel some type of way, if you feel jealous, address it. Because it's toxic if you don't. Duh. Another way a person can be toxic is that every disagreement seems to be an argument. Like you can't, a toxic person always feels like you have to agree with them. It don't work like that. Like you have an opinion, I have an opinion. Either we reach some type of middle ground or we agree to disagree. It's no, you're wrong, I'm right type of situation. That's not how life works. Um, and if you have a friend that, that can't seem to disagree with you without arguing with you or putting you down or calling you stupid because you believe in something different, maybe you need to reevaluate that situation. We got to do better. We got to start picking and choosing See, the one thing that's an issue with, like, toxicity is if it's within your own family. Like, if your family are, if your family members are the toxic ones, it gets really difficult and messy because, you know, you can't pick your family. You can't pick what your bloodline. Like, you can't do that. So, a lot of people have a problem with cutting off family members. However... Just because somebody shares your blood does not mean that you need to force a relationship with them. Simple as that. Um, I don't care if it's your mother, your brother, your cousin, your nephew, your niece, your sister, your uncle. Toxic is toxic. And if it is having a negative impact on you and your mental health and your life, then you don't need to be around it. Stop trying to force relationships that don't have no business being a part of your life. Um... We can choose our friends. That is one thing we can choose. So if the toxic person just so happens to be your friend and it is worth trying to hold on to, by any means, please discuss it. Um, Because like I said, we too have toxic traits ourselves that we need to address. You cannot do better if you're not addressing stuff. Like I'm not saying just completely cut off people, but what I am saying is that if the relationship is worth holding on to, that needs to be a discussion that y'all need to have. Um, if the toxic person is your best friend and y'all been friends for 15 years, have that conversation unless it's too damaging. Like, unless it's too, unless the relationship is already damaged without repair. I had a history of, um, if I felt like my friends were too toxic for me, I would just cut them off without forewarning, not even at least give them an the opportunity to know that they're toxic or how what they're doing affected me. Um, and I do, I do, um, I kind of, you know, regret that because there are some friendships that I felt like could have been salvaged if I would have just, you know, spoke up. But at that time, my mental state was so far gone that I didn't even have the energy to talk. But if you have the energy to talk, please do it. And if you need some time to yourself while you get your thoughts together, please do that too. Um, there is no right or wrong way to do this. One thing, don't ever think that you're too good for somebody to call you toxic. Because um, you could be the toxic one too. If you notice that everybody in your life is toxic, obviously it's something wrong with you. Because the people that you keep around you are a reflection of yourself in some capacity. So, like I said, we all have toxic traits and tendencies. All that I ask is that we all just check ourselves, um, do some real deep self-reflection, and get it together. Toxic cyst syndrome. I hope y'all enjoyed that piece because, whew.
Until then, keep sipping.